And welcome to Storytime with Reginald. I am Reginald, and I am happy you are here. Today, we're going to read... My No, No, No Day. Will you read with me? Great, let's begin. My No, No, No Day by Rebecca Patterson. Yesterday, I woke up and Bob was crawling around my room, licking my jewelry. So I shouted, get out of my room. And that was the start of my no, no, no day. Then I came downstairs and I saw that egg. I cried and cried and said, I can't eat that. And mommy said you could eat it last week. Look at Bob eating his mashed banana. After the terrible egg, I didn't like my shoes either. So I took them off all by myself, shouting, No shoes! And then we had to go shopping, and Mommy said, Please stop wriggling, Bella. But I couldn't stop wriggling, and in the end I shouted, Get me out! Mommy said, you will give Bob an earache, and you are giving me a headache. And Bob poked me and said, Ear. Yeah. At lunchtime, Sasha and her mommy came to play and to have some peanut butter, and grapes, and a cookie. But my cookie broke! Then I couldn't play nicely, and I kept saying, No, you can't be princesses. And in the end, Sasha and her mommy went home. In the afternoon, it was my ballet lesson. I said, Ballet is too itchy. But I was very loud. And Mrs. Clark stopped playing the piano, and Mrs. Louisa said, Dear old dear, perhaps you should sit in the corner then. On the way home, we met the lady who lives next door, and she said that Bob was the sweetest thing she'd seen all day. And then she said, And how is Bella? I was a long way behind, so I had to shout. I have a hurting foot. And Mommy said, Could I keep my voice down and could I please stop lying on the sidewalk? Then it was time for my supper and my bath, but those peas were too hot. And our bath was too cold. And 
I was too wet. And it was too minty. After that, I rolled and rolled and said, No bed, no, 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 no bed, no, no. And Mommy said, Well, I think someone needs to go to bed. But I rolled all over my room, and then I rolled into Bob's room, and I said, Bed is for babies. And then I yawned, a little yawn. Then I crawled into my room, and Mommy said, Who wants a story? And I said, Nobody. But she came into my room anyway, and we cuddled up and had my best story about fairies and cake. I yawned again, and I said very quietly, Today was a very bad day, Mommy. Sorry. And she kissed me goodnight and said, I know, we all have those days sometimes, but perhaps you will be more cheerful tomorrow. And I was, I was, I was cheerful. All day long. What a wonderful story. If there is a story you want me to read, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to read it for you. Thank you so much for reading with me. And remember, the more you read, the more you will know, the more you learn, the more places you will go. Until next time, bye-bye. Story time with Reginald. Story time with Reginald.